From our Center for the Yard studio, this is your AUTV 20 News Break. I'm Jake Raymond. Thanks for tuning in. Ashland University is hosting the fourth annual John D. Stratton Conference. This year's theme is nonviolence in theory and practice. The conference will display a variety of philosophies, theologies, and practices of nonviolence. The conference begins Saturday, February 24th at 9 a.m. in the Ridenauer Room of the Dow College of Business and Economics Building. After much debate, the Ashland City Council will continue funding of the Brookside Golf Course for the next year. After completing the 2018 budget, the council and mayor will transfer about $140,000 from the general fund to the golf course fund. Three Steps Mayor Miller said raising funds, reevaluating golf staffing, and sponsorships would all help the course. The Ashland City Council has approved a new ordinance. It will improve city water and sewage services along the US 250 corridor. The city councilman also approved its continuation for the street's rehabilitation program, which began in 2017. The city will begin repaving and repairing 27 roads across Ashland County in the coming weeks. Ashland University's English department is presenting its 2018 Spring Reading Series. Readings will feature guest readers Erica Krauss, Leela Phillip, and Danide Wardrop on topics such as fiction, nonfiction, and poetry. The first reading on fiction will take place on Monday, February 26th at 4 p.m. in the Dwight Shar of Education Building. The two remaining readings will take place in early and late April. Taking a look at your five-day forecast in Ashland, Ohio. The rest of today, we will be seeing cloudy skies with temperatures in the high 50s. Over the weekend, rain showers on Saturday, but Sunday will be partly sunny skies with temperatures hovering in the mid 50s. Monday and Tuesday, we will be seeing sunny skies with temperatures jumping up to the high 50s. That's it for this AUTV20 news break. Be sure to follow us across social media at AUTV20. I'm Jake Raymond, and thanks for tuning in.